Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us for week six, uh, I'm sorry, week 11 of the Watch List Week Will Challenge. If you don't know what this challenge is, just look into the video description of this video, and we have the pages and posts linked there for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get us navigated to our watch, my watch list here. So you just do that with the My WikiTree menu option at the top there and then scroll down to watch list. So Pam, I'm gonna let you explain what is our challenge for this week and I'll show it on the screen. Okay, our challenge this week has to do with looking at what's changed in your watch list in the last week. And WikiTree gives us a really great tool to do that, the watch list changes tab. Okay, here we are. Okay. And this is a great opportunity if, um, for instance, we just finished up the Connectathon. So I have profiles on my trusted list, on my watch list, that I don't necessarily want to actually uh, manage. So this is a place where you can come and remove yourself from tr the trusted list of profiles that you've been added to recently. There's this option here. So I'm just going to walk through that real quick. Um, and also, uh, Pam, did you want to talk about keeping how we want to keep the profiles under 5,000? Yeah, absolutely. WikiTree recommends that you do not have more than 5,000 profiles on your watch list. And that sounds like a tremendous number to me, but there are people with three and four times that and you simply cannot keep up with the maintenance and the connections and the suggestions that are needed so we're going to be looking at some people who have way too many things that they way too many profiles and they aren't working on them they haven't worked on them in a long time they're not really interested they added them in a contest um, for whatever reason, you really aren't interested in working on that profile and you haven't done so for a long time, orphan it. Take yourself off the list. That sounds harsh, but if it, if it doesn't have you as a manager and somebody else comes along, it will get picked up. It will get worked on. It will be open for other people to work on. So one possibility is that you need to cut your list down. That's one side of the challenge. For other people, it may be that you're new and you don't have very many profiles and you really want to add some people to your watch list. So, all right. So to remove, um, I clicked on that, remove myself from the watch list or the trusted list of profiles just recently added. And so that takes me to this page. You can then, from there, you can say, oh, I want to just see all the profiles I'm on the trusted list for by select um, show all. Or you can click it again. It's a toggle switch. It switches you back and forth. So I'm going to go back to saying show only recent additions. Because mm -hmm. I just want to see which ones were the ones that were recently added to my trusted list or my watch list. So... These are all ones I added and, oh, but this one is actually an ancestor, direct ancestor. So I want to stay on those ones. So I'm going to uncheck those. I've done that a couple of times now. I've accidentally removed myself from my ancestors profiles and just go back in and adopt those back again. But let me go ahead and re remove myself from the majority of these though. Just take me a moment. Okay, and then you just go down here to the bottom and there'll be a button that you can press to say remove. Continue. And there you go. It's working behind the scenes. Churning. There we go. Look at all those profiles I just orphaned. And like Pam said, there's nothing wrong with that. 
Um, it may be that the, these profiles that you added, their, in, their descendants might come along and want to go ahead and take those on. So thank you for adding to the profiles and removing yourself if you don't need to, to handle those anymore. So if I'm going back to the watch list as a starting point, the other thing that Pam mentioned was to maybe you don't have uh, any profiles on your watch list. Let's or stay with the, with the remove for one more minute. Another way that I do that is I will open the, the list of my watch list and I will see which profiles are the oldest. We've talked about this before, but it may be that you have one that you added in 2014 and you haven't touched it since. And it, if, if it hasn't been edited in 10 years, it might be time to say, guess what? I don't really want this profile. I'm gonna let it go. So using those edit dates is another good way to make this decision. Yeah, those column headers are great for being able to sort, sort mm -hmm. your, uh, your watch list. Mm -hmm. Azure's list is all cleaned up. It looks much better than mine. I have all sorts of old ones I need to deal with. So um, <laughs> that may be your situation as well. So then on to the possibility of adding. Yeah, so you might have a name study, for instance, that you uh, are a, a part of and that you wanna work on a certain surname. So what you can do is you can go to the find menu option up here and you can say find orphaned profiles right here about middle, middle, top middle. <laughs> so you can say limit this to one surname. And I know Pam, you like to do unknowns. That's another place that you could go mm -hmm. is put in unknown. Mm -hmm. So you can say, okay, these are all Peasley profiles and from here, you can see specific locations. So say I want to work on one in New Hampshire. And or maybe a certain time. A certain time frame as well. So I'm just going to select those two and go down here to the bottom of the list. And I'm going to say click here to adopt selected profiles. I'm going to press that button. And... Now it shows you as being the profile manager of that of those profiles. And if you uh, go there, you'll see now that it's managed by Azure Robinson. You adopted the profile. So that's how you can uh, take on more profiles if you don't have any, or you want to work on a specific uh, surname, for instance, that just kind of gives you an idea. Sounds good. So your challenge is either get rid of at least five and maybe more or add five or maybe more and then <laughs> come in and report. And I'm going to let Azure finish up because my computer needs me to go find my charger. So I'll let Azure finish up the recording. All right. Thank you everybody for tuning in. If you are late to this challenge, you can still uh, participate and um, you can do that by following the links that we mentioned. They po they're they down in the video description. They link back to the main post. I'm gonna go ahead and share that page real quick at the bottom of the screen. Check that out. You can also follow the tag for the watch list revol challenge. Let me go there real quick for you. Right here at the top of the page, you can see watch list weevils is a tag that you can follow. And you'll be alerted then to new G2G posts. You can subscribe to our channel on YouTube to be alerted to new content there. But tune in each Wednesday at 1030 a.m. Eastern and we'll be publishing a new week's uh, challenge there. And thank you again for tuning in. We'll see you guys around the tree. Bye.